Hey, it's Faraz from Plan Academy. Lately, I have been getting a lot of questions regarding importing updates from Excel to P6. So, as Michael is on vacation, I'll show you a few details about how you can import updates, how you can standardize this procedure so that you don't make too many mistakes while importing. So, let's deep dive into it. Usually, when we have a P6 program, we copy it into Excel and we give the task whoever we have assigned them to. So as you can see the Excel sheet here, we have a list of tasks here. And when we send the task to any of your site engineers or supervisors, they will give you an update in this form as actual start, actual finish, activity percentage. And if you're in a good luck, then they'll give you remaining durations as well. So as you can see here, we have a project and we have all the actuals here. Now, I want to import these actuals into the P6. Let's see how you can do it. So, I'll open P6 here. You can see our P6 program here has no actual start, actual finish, or person complete. Now, what I'll do is I'll quickly assign baseline to it. I'll add, save a copy, and close it. Again, I'll go to project, assign, and assign a baseline to it. Once you have done this, now it's time to export a template sheet from P6 where you will add your actuals and get your data back. So let's do it. I'll go to File, Export, Spreadsheet, and Next. In Export type, it is very important that you select Activities, Next, and Export, then Next. Now the layout is key here. You have to set your layout in a way that I show you so that you don't miss anything. So I'll click on modify. Also there will be a link in the description of this video where you can download your template which I am doing and you can follow along as well. As you can see here in the layout you have activity IDs, activity status, WBS code, type, baseline start finish, actual start finish, activity percentage and remaining durations. These are the field that you need to import any update. And we'll go to filter. I have designed a very specific filter here, update from Excel. I'll show you what it is. In this, you have activity status is not equal to completed, which means that we are just exporting the activities that are not started or in progress. So I'll hit OK here. And that's fine for now. Then I'll click Next. I'll make sure I save the file and I'll save it here. I will name it as activities import and open. Next and finish. Once you have exported the file, I'll go to the folder. Here we are. This is the exported file. I'll open it. Now you can see here uh, the layout that we set, we can see it, it is reflected in our Excel sheet. So we have activity ID, status, type, baseline start, finish, actual start. Finish. So these are the fields that you have to update now. Now we can do it one by one by copying it here and then paste it here, but it will not help you, like it will take too much time and the whole purpose of importing from Excel to P6 is to save time. So I'll show you an interesting Excel formula. Here we go. You just type equal to VLOOKUP. Now it asks for lookup value. We are looking up for activity ID. Now it is asking from which table. So I'll go to the sheet. I'll select this table. And next is column index. It means which column value you want to return. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six. That is six. And do you need an exact match? Yes. So just hit zero, enter. So you have get your you have got your date here. Right now it is in number. You can just paste the format here and you will get it in the date format. Now just drag this value down. You have all the values here. Same we'll do for actual finish, same formula, I'll copy it. Here only the column index will change to seven as our actual finish is column number seven. 
and I will again drag it down to get all the values. Same formula, I'll paste it here and the column index will be 8 this time. And I will drag the value down. Same for remaining duration and the column index will be 9. Okay, here we go. This 9. And we have our remaining duration from our update sheet. It doesn't matter how many activities you have. If you will use this formula, you can easily link your import sheet to your update sheet as well. So let's go. Now we have, I'll format the actual finish as well in the same way. Now, as you can see here, we have formula. I will copy all this and I'll just paste it as value so that we don't need any link in our sheet. And now, as you can see, activity percent is converted into number. So now you just have to multiply the activity percent complete by 100. So equal to activity percent complete multiply by 100. And you will get all your percentage here. I'll copy it, paste it as value. That's okay. And I'll delete this. So one thing you have to make sure that all the percentage and remaining duration value will be in text format. So I will select it, go to home page and I will change it to text. So it is converted into text. Now we have to fix our actual start and actual finish field. So in order to do that, just apply a filter to your table, go to data, filter. And here, first you have to remove all the 0% activity that is not required. So just select 0. And in this, you will figure out that there is a WBS summary activity also. Leave that for now. And I will delete other all except the WBS summary activity. And clear. So now we have removed all our activities that has not started. Next is fixing the start date and finish date here. So as you can see here, we have start date and finish date and we have time which is 12 a.m. I'll copy this for now or we don't need to copy it. To start date as you can see our activity starts in the morning at 7.30 a.m. So we have to put the time here. So I'll just copy 7.30 a.m. from here and I'll select actual start, control F, go to replace. Uh, let's say you have copied 7.30 a.m. I'll change it to 12 a.m. So it will find all the 12 a.m. data and replace it with 7.30 a.m. We we'll just replace all by selecting all, replace all. So now you can see here that uh, all your time has been replaced successfully. Before replacing here, you can see that we have some 1900, which means it, it's an empty uh, row that has to be deleted. So. I'll just select 1900 in the filter and delete all the actuals here. Okay, so the actuals has been deleted here. Now here only one is there. So I'll just re replace this one by 7.30 p.m. As our activity finishes by 7.30 p.m. You can use similar find and replace option to change it. Okay. Here you go. So the time has been changed successfully, activity percentage has been achieved and remaining duration is also here. Now the last part is updating the activity status. So how you can do that is all the 100% is completed. So I'll filter out the 100%, make it as completed and drag it down. The next part is 
all the activity that has that is not 100% I'll filter out 100% and I'll make it as in progress and I'll drag this activity status as well so here we are now we have updated our actual start actual finish activity percent complete remaining duration and activity status so once you have updated these things correctly as I have shown you you just have to save it make sure all the field is correctly done this things are converted into text this is already in a date format and other field will remain same so I will save it and close it now I'll go to P6 I'll go to file import from spreadsheet I'll find my spreadsheet where I have saved it so here you go Okay, and here is activities import okay click on next activities and import just select the project next and finish the import was successful so now you can see and compare as well but before that I'll schedule it as you can see in our excel sheet the data date is 28 February so I will schedule it on 28 February here you go but I will just change the time here as it should be at the end of the day that is 1930 select and schedule so the import was successful and now you can see here as our actual start date is exactly matching with our excel sheet and our actual finish date as well even the activity percentage and remaining duration as 247 so everything has matched there was no error and this is the correct procedure to import from excel to p6 leave a comment if you want us to cover any specific topics also the files are in the description for you to download and see you until next time so let's dive dive let's deep dive into it <laughs> please leave a comment as well what else uh, so leave a comment oh sorry and leave a until next time <laughs> i i was again saying leave a comment sorry okay okay okay